Yeah, it's Palkia here. This is just going to be a really short follow-up video um, to my previous Healer video, um, which I'm going to link in the description. If you haven't watched it, this video is not going to really make much sense. Um, but yeah, so in that video, um, I didn't showcase the healing or the damage that well uh, for the second build because, um, you know, I'm, I'm using the first build. That's my main build. Um, I explained why in that video that I'm using the first build instead of the second build. But um, like I mentioned, I do believe the second build is better, so um, I just did a dungeon and I got enough cash to max out the second build, so I figured I'd just show you guys um, the damage and the healing output of that build. So um, I'm not going to go over the build again, uh, it's going to be all that info is in that video, but uh, here it is, that's what it looks like. Um, let's just take a look at the damage first. So it peaked at like 40 something, um, averaging around 39. Just dropped down to 29 though. Um, so it is going to be a little bit um, less damage than uh, the first build, um, as expected though, because you know it has a lot less holy boost. It's about like what, like 55 or 60? I don't remember exactly how many how much holy boost the other build had but you know it's gonna be a lot less holy boost so less damage but um overall the healing should be more so let's take a look at the healing uh from the rune 9.4 no crit and uh, you know with the lucky ring and six pieces of uh cleric 6.6 uh, critical healing you're gonna be critting about 50 percent of the time so when you do crit it's gonna be exactly double so 18.8 which is really nice 94.1 when you crit on the uh, weapon art, which is huge. You get 9.4 when you're not critting. And then the Q, it's gonna be 89 when you crit, and when you don't crit, it's gonna be half of that. So, um, you know, obviously, if you if, if you don't crit, the heal is gonna be less than, uh, than the first build, but um, when you do crit, it's gonna be a lot more. And, uh, you know, if you're critting about 50% of the time overall, um, when you average out the numbers, the overall healing is going to be higher than the first build. So, you know, um, if you're thinking about what healing build to go to support other players, um, I believe this is going to be the best one. I explained in the other video why I'm not going this one, you know, because I'm not in the optimal race, but uh, this is what I believe is going to be the best the best healer build. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's a non-crit uh, weapon art heal, um, but... As you saw earlier, you know, when you do crit, which is going to be about 50% of the time, it's going to be a massive heal. And uh, if you're actually in the correct race, unlike me, you're going to be able to spam your rune a lot more and uh, get a lot more heals off. And one more small little thing. Um, so this build is obviously going to be more of a solo healer build. Um, if you're the only healer in the group, this is going to be a fantastic build. Um, if there are other healers, it's worth keeping a Star Guardian piece on hand. Um, uh, because, you know, if you can buff other healers with Star Guardian, overall the group's healing is going to be greater. Obviously, you're going to have less healing because um, your critical heals will be less and you'll have less of a chance to critically heal. But, you know, if it's for reducing the cooldown of other healers, then it is worth, um, you know, keeping a max Star Guardian piece to equip when needed. But, yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Take care.